16-year-old Samantha Conarkey, a resident of Lord's Bank Village, was staying at this house on Odonis Avenue, Belize City, for several weeks, having spent the Christmas and the New Year's with friends. But on January 3rd, after 10 p.m., she received the phone call, exited the house, and as she stood on to the street, a gunman approached and fired several shots at her. Moments later, Conarkey lay dead on the pavement. I got a call and they told me that Samantha was killed, that she's on the ground and that she's dead. So I rushed home on a cycle, which took about a couple of minutes. And when I reached there, she was dead on the ground. She was already dead. Any idea as to what happened? I have absolutely no idea what happened. I wasn't home. I left and she was there on the bed talking on the phone. And that was probably two hours before this occurred. She lived there? She came to stay with me for the Christmas break. She just wanted to spend some time. She knew me, she knew my kids, she knew we're fun, we're loving. You know, when you get to know people, I'm the type of person where family is not always blood. So she knew she was a part of my family, she called me ma. News 5 understands that at least one of the bullets made its mark on Connerke's head. Police say that the investigation so far has indicated that the minor was the intended target. Sir, um, have police been able to determine if this shooter was intended to targeting her or was she uh, some sort of, of um, secondary target to send a message? The information is that she was there and this gunman came and fired shots at her. That is the information. Is there any any reason to believe that this that, that she um, uh, had in conflict with anyone or is it a situation where um, maybe the, the friends she kept? Well, there are several leads we are following. Uh, we have uh, information that we gathered from within that area and detectives are following up on those uh, information that we got uh, to try and establish what <coughs> uh, led her uh, being targeted in that area. So was her murder uh, a form of retaliation by any gangs? Well, we do not know at this time. Is there anything to indicate if she had ever been threatened before or anyone close to her? No, we don't have that information now. Are we certain that she was the intended target of that shooting? Yes, we are. So what could have triggered the execution of the female minor? It is a question that remains unanswered at this time. Family and friends, as well as the police, are baffled by its callousness. Everyone is at last. Every friend, every family, everyone who knows her is overwhelmed with grief because she was a lively person. We called her Big Love because she was love. She was a lovable person. From I met her, I could reel up with she right now and in the next two minutes, me and she's sweet. You know, she, she didn't deserve this. It's sad, it's hurtful. Samantha was someone who was always on her phone. The police actually have her phone. She's always taking pictures. She's always videoing. Half of the time we're not talking because Samantha, she's always, she's just a fun person. She like making videos, she like dance. She was just a warm and loving girl. Too young to die like this. We have no motive at this time. Uh, we are seeking one suspect in relation to this shooting. An investigation is ongoing at this time into this murder. In expressing his condolences to the families of female minors who have recently been victims of gun violence, namely Shantus Martinez and Connor Key, Commissioner of Police Chester Williams shared an advice to young girls. There are some young girls who um, just love to associate themselves with persons that are referred to as bad men. And, uh, Sometimes the effect of that coming back to them could be very um, detrimental in terms of um, violence being perpetrated against them as well. And so selecting your friends or your associates or who you date really and truly has a lot to do 
with it. Um, and again, parents of these young girls also need to, to be more involved in terms of knowing who their daughter is dating or who their daughter friends are and see how they can offer advice when um, we're necessary. Dwayne Moody for News 5.